in the porta potty, me, Ayo and Norm, on YouTube, about to take it by storm. What are you talking about? I don't even know. We're finna build a freaking boat. Yeah, let's freaking go, hey. Hey old folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing and Norm YouTube channel. Comment this follow up down below. So go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the bell. Leave a comment down below this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. In today's video, we have a 2v2 pick and pull boat building challenge. Bro, this is adorable, man. Good score, bro. Okay. Audi's rental toilets, more like Audi's sucky toilets, am I right? <laughs> Dude, don't throw down on Audi's, man. They're trying to make a living. Lord, dude. Howdy. In today's video, we have <laughs> myself and Mason on a team. We have AO Fishing and Smalls, who I just met 30 minutes ago. That's right. So Smalls, first time on the channel. Guys, comment down below if you want them here or not. The actual goal for today's video, no budget, just whatever you can use to no build a budget? boat. So you guys are going to have a boat. We're going to have a boat. If you sink, you instantly lose. First person to catch a fish wins. I think they close at six. My yeah. in 45 minutes. We'll be out of here within an hour. What's your work? Um, going to try to turn a car into a boat. Where are we going, Mason? <laughs> that way, actually. So guys, the lady up front gave us a map. What we're looking for is a tube-shaped top of a car that can be flipped over and used as a boat. What are you thinking? That conversion van right there. Look at the roof. Oh, dude, and the glass. If we could somehow cut that off. Be like a see-through boat. All right, let's go check it yes, out. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't know what the plan is, but apparently Smalls is really confident about this direction. I saw a boat over here. Shut up. I'm lying. Dude. Are you talking about that red one or the white one? The white one. Wait, so how are we gonna do this? That is a great question. Are you talking about chopping the top half off? This part right here, this is all I'm talking about. Oh, it kind of does look like a boat, dude, when you look at it like that. Yeah. Wow. The only thing is there's a window on top. You think that's watertight? I'm thinking some flex seal and we're like, we're good. Would that truck bed float? Oh. oh. I don't think it'll float, man. I really don't. I mean, it's sturdy. I almost just <laughs> I don't think it's gonna float. On no. to the next. That's dangerous. It was a cool thought. I don't know if you want to actually continue with this because we have 35 minutes. There's no shot that I have enough batteries in there to cut this whole off. So what do you mean? I'm just trying to think of like what we can actually make happen today. You're the boat man, dude. I'm the fisherman. Yeah, dude, so. these are cars. <laughs> oh, I forgot. That's a good point. I might have just seen something, brother. <laughs> Oh shoot! What are you thinking? Give me some of yeah. that. Yeah. Woo! We'd still have to seal. No, it's closed up here too. That's it. So if we close it, then it's already a boat. So how do we get it off? We got to figure out how to get it off. It's bolted in. Do we have tools? Look at the curve of this. There's no way two of us are. Yeah. Out. Dude, I think we need to go somehow with plan one. Cutting that roof off. How long will that take? the better part of like two and a half three hours really yeah second idea that we're having take a camper top somehow make sure that all the windows are sealed or a bunch of like glue in there flip it upside down i think that'd be our best option at the moment but unfortunately we don't have any tools hey small i may have found Keep going. oh my bad man <laughs> that was one of the most awkward situations i've ever been through Oh, this was a good idea. Yeah. Dude, I love filming for Norm's channel. We have glass, lights, right. doors, bumpers. Like the only thing we can turn into a possible boat is, is the hood. The hood or the bed. But even then, that's that's a lot of work. Yeah, like we don't have time to cut the shell off of a car. We don't. So. Like we're not oh, that's not us, right? Or is it? It could be. It's small enough to get it on the trailer. Oh dude, it feels lighter too. Do you think that we can uh, like flip it? Ready? Three. Yeah. That's so much lighter. I said go. Whoa. That's what we're working with. I think this is a much better option. These seem pretty sealed. Is that us? <laughs> Let's go, baby. That is it, man. I don't know if you guys are seeing what we're seeing in our heads, but I have no doubt in my mind. We this, can seal this thing up. And she can float. Duct tape, caulk, a little bit of elbow grease and deep, deep love. We'll be in there. We don't have much time. We got to figure out a way to move this. <laughs> we found what we're going to do. Did you actually? Yep. 
it's pretty much already over if you don't want to try that's fine we did accept defeat now because we pretty much already won well i'm trying to figure out what we're going to do because our plan is going to take like three hours and there's no way she's going to stay out here for three hours dude you do whatever you got to do man yep the took a day off what is going on with today what's going on with today yeah. absolutely nothing yeah like a lot of nothing like come out here and do nothing for nothing nothing when you say it like that it makes me feel kind of bad it was a cool idea at least though right for sure dude yeah i've enjoyed our time together i have even though it was for nothing dude Thanks guys for driving four hours down. We're gonna pick this bad girl up. So now we're gonna jump to the future because the past is in the past. What are we doing? We're doing a transition. Okay. You just jump. We'll see you guys on a non-rainy day at eight in the morning. We are redoing that one. Dang it. All right, guys, it is now three to six months later. Smalls has a family. AO has a successful YouTube channel for now. All right. Um. <laughs> All right, let's go explore a junkyard and see if we can make something float and make it a boat. All right, guys, so it is four to six months later. So whatever our plan was, it might not still be here. So we're going to search the junkyard and see what we can find that we can make float. There's so many cars out here. It's a little overwhelming. There's just so many different options. Do we want a van? Do we want a sedan? Do we want great fuel economy out on the water? Top speed, you know, like there's all these things to consider. The problem is we're making a boat out of a car. And the reason a car is called a car is because it's not a boat. That checks out. So <laughs> cars normally sink when you drive them in the water. We're gonna try to make one float. I think our plan is to just cut a car in half. We got our Sawzall, a bunch of extra blades, extra battery, and a crowbar. You gonna go that way and just see if we can find something looking cool? How you been, brother? Heard you started a channel. I did also. start a channel, man. It was awesome. A lot I, uh, of stuff happens in yeah, Fremont, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited about Last it. Last time we were here, we explored all the way behind me. There's, There's this out here. A wall of car. It almost makes me feel like that's where we're gonna find what we need. Yeah, because it's like always that. in the back and on the top where you can't get to it. Yep. I said we climb as high as we can. I'll do it. I'm not scared. I ain't ever been scared. A Corvette? Oh, shoot. She got the 5.7 in her. <laughs> Guys, look at this Corvette. This really been stripped down to the bare bones here. They have taken every piece of this car. Well, that's some, like one of the most common engines you'll find in a boat. That was a big deal back in the day. Twin port injection. <laughs> oh, that's a car stack if I've ever seen one. Wow. Look at friend. here. All right, so. I think everything up there is unusable. <laughs> yep. No, all I, that's trash for is sure. trash. I feel like these are the cars on this side. I think we need to be in the truck section. So pretty much the complete opposite side. Yeah, that's where no, we need right. to be. You're right. Also, one idea that we we had over the last three months that we have not discussed with Norm or Mason. We're gonna try to cut out and use the airbags in these cars as flotation. Dude, I, I think that can work. I think it would I mean, be cool I really too. Do. And I've never removed an airbag before. Oh my goodness. It's pretty sad. It is kind of sad, dude. I, f I feel like I'm watching that Cars movie when the car crashes and then he's all sad and he can't finish the race. It's kind of like all these cars got the same treatment. There's like, it's almost like a graveyard in a way where there's a ton of tires over there. So like, they like took them apart. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping we turn that corner. It's like a brand new Lamborghini there for like 10 bucks. It'd be so cool if a punch buggy was waterproof. It would be cool just, if you could just flip it upside down. That's what I was literally yeah. thinking and cut a hole out the top. Out the bottom. Or the bottom, which would be the top of the boat. Yeah, I feel like we just gotta go over there and try to cut the top off. Wow, it's really hot. And the trucks are a long ways away. Why did we go to the car stack? Dang it. Cars, more cars. Oh, minivan. Dude, somebody threw something straight through the back window. Dude, I hate to be this guy. I really want to throw something at that. All right, so I think we're gonna go with plan one. We did some exploring and there's a lot of cars like these. What are these even called? They're a uh, conversion van. So that looks kind of like a boat. A little bit, on like an upside down boat on a van. So we're gonna try cutting that whole thing off. The only problem is the John boat floats and will the top of the car float? Only one way to find out. Let's get to it. <laughs> Do you want to go back here to this back corner where we found our magic last time and just see? 
Yeah, we shouldn't see it. So our plan last time, we were gonna take the bed of a truck and kind of use that as the basis for the boat. And then I think we're allowed to use flex seal tape, some other things to seal her up real good. Right. We found a really lightweight truck bed. That was a problem with all the other ones. Dude, it was gonna work. Heavy. It was on the ground back here. But I have a feeling somebody might have swiped it. I definitely feel like boots right now. Hmm. Dude, what do I see? Huh? Ain't we, got no tailgate though. Somebody probably yeeted it right off. Dang it. That was the one too. Dang it. Guys, this was the one. <sighs> this is what we were going for. Feels good. Yeah, for sure. Oh dude, watch, watch, watch. Guys, I'm gonna try climbing up the ladder and see what's up on top here. I just wanna check, make sure there's no big gaping holes. I guess we could kind of plug them, but. Oh, dude, this could work. The top of this thing basically cut all the way down to here where it's connected. We'll be flipped over and that will practically be our boat. But this is such a cool little camper van. I'd love to like travel some of the United States, go fishing in a van like this. We gotta figure this out, man. We do need to start looking. We need one that's already detached. It, w it was so simple that day. It was, dude. Now we have to remove a truck bed from a truck, which doesn't sound very fun. You wanna Google how to remove an air bag? We could just tie like 20 of them together. There's a bunch of videos on here on how to do it. I feel like this one has quite a large air bag. You wanna try on one? We can. Does it say where the airbag is? I mean, there's one inside of every wheel, right? Steering wheel, right? Would it be easier though to get the passenger airbag? I don't know. I've never done this. All right, let's leave. I got a knife, but if it explodes, then you have a blade flying out. You know what I'm saying? That could be bad. That could not be good. <laughs> There's not a chance it could be good. I say the oldest video we can, because these cars are pretty old. What was that top one? It's 10 years ago from a Honda. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, guys, and for today's project, all you'll need is a 3 8 ratchet, a 30T safety torx with an extension, and you may find a magnet helpful. Yeah. The battery must be disconnected for three minutes before you can remove your airbag. If not, your most of these batteries are going to be It's very dangerous. It's it has the explosive charge of like a stick of dynamite or something. <laughs> okay, that's good. To know. I wouldn't worry about that part. Okay, honestly. so here I mean, we are. What's a stick of dynamite? That's <laughs> just one, dude. Yep. Well, this thing's cutting through very easy. It's just fiberglass. Oh, Oh, it's working? Yeah, I mean, I just cut all the way through <laughs> within like five seconds. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like straight metal. No. <laughs> that's kind of scary though. Yeah, that's... Fiberglass in my lungs. Yeah. <clears throat> that's good for you though. Mm. Do we need to make them inflate? Because if we pull them out and they don't inflate, then what are we doing? Will you look up how to make an old airbag to pour? How to pour airbags without an accident? Let's that's go. the one we need. <laughs> My wife does okay, not want to hear about next. Yeah. Yes. Well, maybe we should just pull them out without the boy in, huh? I would say 100%. Let's do that. I'm out. I'm in. I'm Mason. I'm hungry. I'm agreeing. I got seeds. We were doing like an I'm thing. They said I got. Yeah, it's to be fair, it's like 2 p.m. We got to do this, drive two hours, build a boat, drive another two hours go fishing so we should go ahead and go get rolling i think the cameras are rolling mine's on this time i think yeah it's on we're almost there almost there well in theory i'm hoping this shell just kind of falls off, off but it might not <laughs> <laughs> also could you get you might have to give me a boost here i got you <sighs> yep. Yep. all right Uh-oh. I wonder if we could find any tailgates that fit the truck bed we already have detached. <laughs> See those? Two right there on the oh, ground. Oh, dude. Let's go check them out. Yeah, these are actually uh, <laughs> right up at the front where we came mm, from. I like that. It's almost like we started right in front of them. Dang, homie. Dude, that's the We can the take everybody. Too, baby. We can take the family. You should have brought your wife and kids, dude. I'm just saying. This is us. You don't sound enthusiastic at all. I'm enthused. I just see it as a big job, man. This is two times as big as the one we just had. What you mean, big job? Just like heavier to move. Yeah, but it's our only option that I've seen, right? Yeah, I mean, so we don't thinking. have another option. We need to toss these tires out and then see how heavy it is. Huh? <sighs> Lift with your back, not your legs. Mm. Oh. Yeah. All right, let's hop over here and see if we can lift this thing. I don't know if it would be too much ceiling, man. Dear Lord. It's a pretty good size. <laughs> yeah, she would run. Oh, 
about? What are you thinking, dude? I mean, this, if we got to rock with this, we got to rock with it. But we can find something different. You want to try to find a tailgate for the bed we had back there or no? You think that'll work better? I think it could. I think we, did, we, we picked that one up, and it was light. Yeah, you picked it up by yourself to today. Yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> See, that would have let water in. 100%. Oh, what's on the inside of there? Oh, it's like all connect. Oh, dude, fiberglass in my pupil. Dude, this could work. I should is it connected to things in there yeah it's connected to like a ton of cables give her a solid push she's connected like 70 different ways i'm just standing back man i'm standing clear grab that thing in the back of where zate's standing next to and then grab the back of this piece it's nasty but it's better than fiberglass i almost rather grab straight fiberglass and grab wherever this thing's been oh my gosh oh when you stand up inside of there there's your little cigarette lighter cables for tv Oh, there's a TV. Dude, I'm getting so much fiberglass directly in my eyes. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a 1972 Stratos with a 250 Merc on the back, man. That thing looks like it was in the Bassmaster Classic 1972, 1973 championship. Yeah. Now who's got the best teammate? Go we team. do. <laughs> what is this man doing? Hey guys, how you doing? What's We're doing up? good. You doing good? How are you doing? Not so good, eh? Bet you feel mad <laughs> embarrassed right now that we already won this thing. Well, let me take a guess. Is, is one of them two yours? That one's ours, baby. We just cleared her out. <laughs> Genius. I love it. It's a little oh, big and heavy. This <laughs> is huge. Yeah, yeah, dude. I was excited about this idea. How are we going to carry it? You guys realize you gotta get the boat to the pond. Y'all have a, a trailer, right? No, it'll fit on a tra trailer. Long story short, there's um there's a gate in front of this pond, so we have to carry our boat about 50 yards because I, I lost the key to that gate. Dude, what? Oh, fricky, frick, frick. Let's make a deal right now. Okay. Let's play a game. Whoever can roll one of these tires the furthest has to carry the other team's boat. Deal. <laughs> All right, pick your tire. Well, this is one of the hard questions. You know, you could go, you go small, like smalls, or you go big. Right. Big could go further, but it's too heavy. You roll it wrong. You're, you're, def you're definitely thinking about this because you're right. Yeah. It, I could definitely see a big one going further. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Which way are we rolling? <clears throat> Oh goodness. All right, I hope you like carrying boats. <laughs> you ready? Oh. Ready as I'm gonna be. Three, two, one. No, yes, no, no, no. yes, no, yes, yeah. <laughs> Why did I make that bet, dude? dude great idea, man. Frickety frick frack. I'm sorry, Smalls. It's okay. I was wanting to carry your boat. Thanks, dude. So we have to carry theirs, they have to carry ours? No. We no. gotta carry both. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I messed up big time. It's all good. I messed up too. <laughs> By trusting me? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> we might be done in like 10 minutes. Jeez. Yeah. We're cutting quick. Well, we're pretty much done. I wouldn't try to save any energy. All right, see you guys. All right. All right. Should we rethink our boat? We can go get my truck and leave if you want. <laughs> Got a taco bill? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want to win this challenge. Yeah, me too. I don't I even feel want disrespected. Taco bill. Now I'm going to build the best boat this internet has ever seen. Hey guys, how's things going? It's going good. Good, as in like, here's some fiberglass for you. You feeling confident? I am. I've got uh, most of this thing cut through. It's coming off real easy. Dude, I'm glad things are going good for you. Are they not going so well for y'all? I've never said that. I was just curious. I'm just wondering here. Did you sense some facetiousness? Um, I don't even know what that means. Lacking seriousness, I believe. Oh. But it was very much facetious because we haven't found anything. Oh. In fact, all that we found won't float. I foresee that. Nor is it paddleable. Oh. Nor will it fit on the trailer. Nor will we be able to only carry that boat because my buddy made a deal with your buddy. And we have to now carry your boat because we lost. You guys already lost? In my mind, yes. Well, come on. All right, you ready? Yep. Oh, well, that's kind of heavy. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> you think it'll float? 
Ain't got a hole in it, Will. Dude, it looks so good now that it's off. I can't believe this hasn't been done before. Like, I've never seen anybody make a boat out of the top of a car. We, we could mount a trolling motor on the back. And we get a couple rod holders and maybe a chair. And we got a full bass boat, dude. Sure, we got some wood in it, too, to mount stuff. She feels like she's not going to break. <laughs> like, if this was on water, I'd cast. Oh, that looks like a rollable tire. Oh, whoa. Ow. Let's go through your head right now. Well, to... we've already... We've already won the tire roll, and it's got Smalls and AO all messed up. I just got stabbed by that Goodwill tire. Oh, oh, my body. It's like there's a porcupine stuck in that tire, dude. Oh, I got tetanus. It's it's mental, and we're we're mentally ahead. Not to mention physically. Ah, oh, I can feel it in my arteries. It's seeping deep inside of me. Oh, oh. I'm just getting doomed. It hurt that bad. Ow, dude. I can't do a split like Smalls though. guys so i think this might work i'm almost 100 percent sure that the truck bed that we were looking at up there is an s10 I mean, this is an s10 right i don't want to say something that sounds stupid i think we're good I may be able to use it it's upside down <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> You have done well. That is what we needed. They're gonna be coated in fiberglass. Probably not gonna be able to sleep well tonight. I was a little big. It's in there, dog. We just seal the heck out of it. I say, let's keep this thing basic, dude. I say, this is all we need. Folks, I feel pretty confident. I'm not gonna lie. Most of the time, I just kind of bull crap my way through videos. Trying to make you guys think I'm smarter than I am. Right now, I'm relaxing. I'm not even saying that much because I already feel like we have to dub. Oh my gosh, that looks fantastic. Gosh dang it. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do see it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so much better than I thought it was going to look. I'm not even going to lie. Holy smokes, that's incredible. Yeah. That's wow. It's actually really light too. It's like it's li it's like as light as a John boat or lighter. I'm not very impressed by a lot of stuff Mason does, but this. We about to do that with this. I'm impressed. We could put light I see you got yourself a, a Yukon Dash. And a skip plate. We have two paddles. Oh. Oh, I, we didn't even think about that. Yeah. All we did is get a boat. Well, can we get the people at the front to pick up our boats? Mm. Well, turns out we came here on a Sunday, which is the only day the forklift opter operators and all the all the muscly men with the big machines don't work. So we had to carry these things for an extra hour and a half across the junkyard. Yeah. Dang it, hey, I, I can am. feel it. <laughs> carry the boat. <laughs> I promise, I am. We're out of breath. We have two fancy looking boats here, including a truck that I never even saw. Funny enough, this is the same one that we got three months ago. Just sitting there waiting on us. So now it's time to see, will the camper topper boat or the truck bed float and who will be able to catch the first fish? I think she floats. What do you guys think? That's a heavy piece. A like vessel. Well, we have some sealant, we have some duct tape, and if duct tape won't fix it, what will? All right, guys, it is the next day. We're here at the pond. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the two boats. So here's the rules if you guys don't remember. These things have to float as first to catch a fish, but you have to have both contestants in the boat at the same time. <laughs> and now I'm super nervous because we've gotten the truck bed right next to water. Uh, I guess three, I two, one, go. Have you seen my boat? I haven't seen your boat. see my boat? Yeah, yeah, show me what you did okay. here. We had the biggest hole ever at the bottom of the tailgate. When I say big, it's like that whole way across. What about this? Is this not going to like... You have a plug on the backside. Don't even worry about oh, okay, that. Okay, Don't okay. even think. Water line's going to be low anyway. But we caught siliconed literally everything. And then we have waterproof tape, duct tape. Then we found two holes this morning that we didn't see yesterday. Put a little bit of tape over. So what are the odds you guys actually think if you were going to float in this thing? I'm 50-50. I think there's a good chance. I've floated many boats. I've sunk many boats. I think we got about... 20 minutes. Me and Mason will show you guys our boat real quick. So basically all we had to do is cut the whole thing off. We pressure washed it just for fun. And then we put a trolling motor on the back here with uh, wood and then we taped down that hole in the back. And then uh, yeah, we have a battery. This is what precision looks like. This is what knowing a plan and executing perfectly looks like. And that's what we did. For the driver, a nice lawn chair from my backyard. 
That's our boat. Our thing is, theirs might go down slowly. Ours is either going down instantly, or it's never going down. It's, it's only one of the two options. I think we're never going down. There's almost zero chance this thing doesn't float. Now that we have seen the boats, all we have to do is put them in the water, see if they float, catch some fish. You boys ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. Will you help me carry it? I didn't really think I went through. Let's float this boat, right, boys. Right, right, right. Three, two, one. This thing's gonna sink like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> this is right about where she should start being buoyant. Oh, 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 oh yeah. we're floating! <laughs> no, 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 no. We got one hole. Take a hole back there, too. It's not bad. Give me the tape pronto. Oh, there's a hole here. Oh, no. Gosh dang it, dude. Rip me a piece. It's a slow leak. That's the beautiful thing about this leak. All right, it's unfortunate, but me and Trey put all the caulk we could find in those holes. We plugged it up. It's a lot of caulk. I feel like it might be enough to fill the holes up, but that's a lot bigger caulk than that one. We interrupt today's video to bring you guys today's video sponsor, ShipStation. ShipStation helps you get your products to your customers in the easiest and fastest way possible. So guys, I've been running businesses out of my basement ever since I was 12 years old. Say you're selling on eBay, say you're selling on Amazon, any of the big main sites. This dashboard basically allows you to see everything you're selling and keep track of all the orders. So for the entrepreneurs out there, if you guys are running a business, organization is key. Starting off, it's my last gumball machine. When I was a kid, I used to put gumball machines in stores. You have to keep track of, you know, like the amount of candy that goes into them, the amount of money that's coming in, your profit margins, M&Ms, more expensive than Skittles, all that type of stuff. So what ShipStation's helped me with in my current business, I guess, which is selling merch is it's one, made it really easy to see all the orders coming in and out because it can get kind of complicated. And uh, two, it helps with shipping, finding the best costs on shipping. And then three, two makes printing labels, all that stuff way easier as well. Keeps everything in one organized spot because everybody knows I need some organization. And on top of that, you can save up to 88% off shipping off of like USPS, UPS, all the shipping companies. You get to find the best deals possible. So that means that you can even lower the prices of your products because you can get it to your customers for cheaper. Ship more and grow more with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash norm and sign up for a free 60 day trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit shipstation.com slash norm. Thanks to ShipStation for sponsoring this part of the video. Now back on with the regular content. All right, three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. All right, this time no stops. We just push off and we're going. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Three. Oh, we're floating. We're Hop floating. in there, Trey. We're floating. <laughs> First body going in. Woo. You go to the front. Go to the front. Are you sure, dude? Yeah, I'll stay in the back. Okay. It's looking. Oh. 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 Yeah. We're in here. Oh, we are in oh. here. Dude, we're floating. We are floating. We're moving. Good. We're Come moving. Come on, baby. Go. Whoa. Let's go. No. No. No water's coming in. We're chilling. We're, We're full steam ahead. We're going like five knots. Yeah. Oh, dude, they're already cooking across the pond. That is amazing. That's something that takes five men to carry can actually float in the water. That blows my mind. Physics is a crazy thing. Ooh, ooh, we're, ooh. we're golden. You think? We're golden. Right, I'm gonna step in. We'll see how much it sinks. Oh no. Oh. 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 I think I'm chilling. Yeah. No, we're good. <laughs> Dude, I did not think it's gonna come down to a fish off to see who can catch the most fish. I thought it was gonna be who sank first, but it's so far. I mean, we're not off the bank yet, but it looks like. This could work. We are so chilling. Oh, dude, we're chilling. Oh, yeah, this is more stable than a John boat. This is too easy. Oh, this is crazy, dude. All right, we got tackle here. Mason starting off with a lipless crankbait, and then I have the oh. bandito bug on. I like how wide it is, man. It's actually, wait, I'm gonna do a stable test. You ready? Hit it. It's no that is pretty nuts. <laughs> Watch how fast this, th this thing's about to be, too. Oh, we're scooting. All right, see ya, Zade. Bye, cameraman Zade. Dude, you can probably hop on this, not gonna lie, but we won't risk it. <laughs> All right, 2v2 starts now. Our boat's working, baby. <laughs> All right, folks, I didn't see this coming. I didn't Trey, We were pretty positive we're going for a swim. There is no leaks. 
in the boat right now. It's kind of remarkable. We put a whole gallon of Good job, dude. Caulk. That's engineering, dude. We caulked in that hole. We, we caulked the hole. Look at them and their fiberglass top thinking they're worth anything. We're in an S10 bed, dude. There's not many people that S10 bed across the lake. Nah, dude. Imagine if we got a 10 pounder out with the S10 bed. <laughs> we're floating really good. God, I hope we catch a big one. Yeah, we're chilling. I'm catching a hard vibe out here. I'm, I'm not worried at all. Like, at the start, I wasn't feeling too confident, but I think we're gonna float. We just need to, all right, we have that much water there, that much water there. As long as we don't get more, I think we're fine. I really feel great, dude. Yeah. That was the biggest problem. That was a problem. These two, there's no water coming in. Not really much coming from there either. There's a little bit. It's slow, but I think we could scoop it out. Oh, Ooh, I just heard that's our bad. Yeah, that's, that's some glass damage. Good. Where are we gonna start? I don't know. What well, looks good to you? Uh, I like this bank right here. Just wanna ease on over and yeah, start? Yeah, ease on over and start casting around, you yeah. know? Why not? Mason, I'm thinking in like the hotter months, you know, we're still a little bit out from winter, the shade line on the bank is where a lot of these fish are gonna be hanging out. And this side gets sun less than this side of the lake, so. Okay. Somewhere over here. I'm starting out with the Bandito Bug guys, and we got the new Guggen Squad Rods. If you guys wanna use code Norm, you get 10% off. Link will be down below in the description for everything I'm using here. But we have a one four ounce bullet weight, a uh, five uh, EWG hook, a little Bandito Bug. In the natural color, so. We'll see. We gotta just rip by them just to flex this thing real quick. Yeah. Ours yeah. is definitely faster. It's, it's like flatter, flatter or wider. It's stable. The hole that was back here is not even touching the water. That This thing sits so shallow. It's gotta be like an inch and a half that it, like the- That's uh, in the water? How deep it sits, yeah. I was afraid this front was gonna go under. Dude, oh. Nah. I'm gonna try it. You ready? Oh, oh. okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> so you just can't step on the front. <laughs> Dude, how have we made this work? I don't know, but our, our boat's pretty cool. <laughs> We're out here, dude. We are in here, dude. This looks absolutely absurd. God, they're rolling, dude. Oh my. They are rolling. They are moving. Are we full speed? Dude, we're full speed oh and it's forward and we'll go down. I think the way it's built is a little wacky. Yeah, drags a little water. It is just a cube on the front. Yeah, pretty How's much. How's it look off the tailgate? Can you look over the wall? Be careful, brother. Oh, that water line's looking a little high. <laughs> <laughs> we got God, dude, dude, they got a speedboat. We got a How they barge. already almost caught us? That's what I'm saying, dude. dude we lost like five minutes before that. That looks like a boat. It does. It, look, it really does. That looks amazing. But it's not as amazing as ours. No. Dude, that is fast. <laughs> dude, we just got cut off. We did. See you guys. Look at those men unreal dude they can roll in that they thing. are rolling dude i almost think we need to go to the other side of the lake and then just slow drift down the bank you think so oh you got your shoes on i was gonna say it's pretty comfy with the like on my feet <laughs> what is it the gymnastic floors like, yeah uh, i'm throwing a bandito bug right now i've never tried it in here so i don't really know normally i throw worms or jerk baits oh we're about to crash ayo we need to go back dude i don't think our oh ayo it looks like we're take... taking on water dude are you sure is it not getting deeper i don't know <laughs> It could be a little. Uh-oh. It's nothing serious. No, nah, we're, we're still good. We're chilling. Oh, dude, it's dripping right there. You see that? Uh-oh. That's a slow leak, though. It's okay. I, I think you can buy some time with that. Yeah. Dang, Dang bro. Cool. That is not good. She's dripping steady. I looked, whenever we shifted our weight, all the water in the boat yeah. was going down that way. It didn't look, wasn't looking good. It's not coming out. That corner right there is our leak right now. It's not terrible. Just we can good. make it work, yeah. We just need to catch a fish. Catch a fish. Look like that! Come on! Like that! Come on! Like that! Oh! Oh my God! Oh! oh! He come off! I'm on. Yes! Come on! Get, get him! Come here, buddy! Get him! Get him! Yes! Yes! Come here! It is come me! On, man. Let's go! No, oh, they're on a school. That is not good. Should we go over to that school? There, yeah, go over there. We're quick. Light work for two players. S10, baby. Behind the bat release. <laughs> I will try. Is it biggest fish or? Well, at first we said first fish, but now they're both floating. I think we were just gonna do most fish in the hour. We're gonna change this for my benefit. Don't you worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, say like we're a... winning. We're gonna somehow say we, second we're, fish. We're doing wins. too good so far to not win. So. Yeah. Oh, look at them. We're... Hey guys. What are they doing? <laughs> Get out of here. Golly, young men have no respect these days. Unreal, dude. It's <laughs> absolutely unreal. Absolutely un unreal. <clears throat>
So you guys had two at the same time pretty much though, right? No. We didn't catch any fish. Get out of here. Dang, okay, I see how it is. Imagine if we drop a five on their heads. Imagine a boat flipping a five oh my in a goodness. truck bed. In an S10 bed. Dude, that'd be the coolest S10 ever made. I had to float it over him. I got another one. I got another one. I got another one. I got another one. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 come on. I knew we should have grabbed we should have grabbed that Ned Rig rod. Whoa, let's go! Yeah, boy. Let's go! Yeah! Oh, Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! This might be over sooner than we thought. Yeah. Y'all guys might have a faster boat than us, but what you ain't catching more fish than us! Hey. Dude, look at this, Ao. We're catching bass out of a truck, man, bro. We're doing things. <sighs> wow, okay. I love these guys. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you later. Is this a shutout? Majestic. Dude, we cannot get out fish from a truck bed, dude. No. We cannot let that happen. I won't allow it. I'm seeing water drip through that tape right there. You see it coming uh -oh. in? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> not great. All right, so guys, me and Mason are currently losing, but... AO and Trace Boat are slowly taking on water. So it might be a length game and not a. Can you stop throwing your lunker logs at me? You just go to normal on squad.com to get 10% off your lunker. Oh, <laughs> he hooked out of the boat. Oh, no. Oh! 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 Yeah, it didn't go inside of me. I don't oh know my how. goodness. That was so intense. That was. Dude, I almost lost my vision there, eh? Dude, that would have been terrible. Dude, can you see it? It's like a big red line. Oh, uh, no, yeah, not too bad. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you got a Cinco <laughs> in your neck. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, there you have it, folks. Don't play around with your boating and your hooks. We'll see what we can do, guys. I have a little tackle box here, some swim baits, some Ned rigs that we might try. I know that's what's trade thrown, even though he won't tell us. <laughs> we might have to switch up to this tactic later. Dude, you should. You should right now, actually, I think. What's really cool about the Ned Rig, dude, is in comparison to like what everybody throws, especially in the South, it's like a Northern bait, small mouth and stuff, love it. But there's a little rattle in here, draw some attention. So it's finesse, but they can hear it. It's just a really easy meal to eat, especially in a lake where there's like a ton of like one and two pounders, but giants will catch this too. I watched a guy on my boat catch the biggest bass I've ever seen in my life was on this bait. Really? Uh, yeah, 11 pounder on Lake Okeechobee, Mikey Balls. That's not the biggest bass you've ever seen. Second biggest bass. Yeah. I saw your bass. <laughs> I saw your 13 pounder. Normally you'd throw this on spinning gear because it's really light, but dude, it's just a fish getter and nobody throws it around here. So I'll leave that there for you. I don't like how much water is getting in here, dude. I don't either. To be honest with you. Not looking good. That's dripping steady. Yeah. Ooh, look at that water running, dude. <laughs> That's not good. It doesn't feel great. No, not good. It's almost like if you had a Zebco or a Senko just smack you right in your jug. I know that hurt. It did. My uh, eyes tears. I was just they, trying to act tough. I'm glad you're acting tough for you. Thanks, dude. Probably gonna have to call my mom after this. They're over there laughing, dude. We're about to make them cry. Hate hearing ha happy people on my YouTube channel, man. I'm supposed to be happy. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the one that looks good. What's going on here? Guys, also congratulate Trey down in the comment section below. He fished his uh, co angler tournament. Came in fourth place out of 200 people two days ago. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nuts, man. Yeah, Trey is one heck of an angler, so give some uh, some W trays in the comment section down below. You know, I'm still, I, I don't think anybody saw this happening where both of these boats were, were floating. I didn't see it happening, to be honest. Yeah. I'm gonna have soggy feet if I don't let these puppies out. Let the dogs out. Yeah, boy. I got one. I got Come one. On, I got one. I got okay, one. I got okay, one. Okay, okay, it's okay. a good one. It's a good one. It's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, not really, but it's a good one. Oh, ooh, it ooh. might be a good one. Ayo, grab him. Oh, grab dude, him. you got him. You got him. Oh. You got him. I'm going to flip him. I'm going to flip him. Right? Flip right? him right in the bed, baby. Ah, let's go. I don't want to make too much noise and bring him back, dude. No, nah, you need can't to keep bring playing him back. Aw, yeah. uh -uh, there's no way they got another one, dude. Yep. They got another one. You're Dang kidding me. Okay. Well, we gotta find something here soon, man. <laughs> We're the best fishermen out here, dude. We are, dude. We're dominating we own this lake. Dominating this guys. Later. Oh no. We're gonna keep cruising. Yeah, Dang, dude. That Ned rig is slaying. You know what we might be banking on is if they sink that thing, we we could win. If, if they sink, that's disqualification, right? That's DQ. Ready for the skip? Under the dock. Oh, he's on. Oh, he, he missed oh. it. He hit in top water. All right, dude, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. 
Do not overreact. Guys, I just had a big fish hit me on top water underneath the dock. Dang it, dude, I should have had him. I don't know if, I think he just jumped and I assumed he grabbed it. But I think he missed it. That stinks so much. I don't think they're catching anything, dude. You don't? Nah. I think we're up 3-0. Yeah, we're up 3-0 for sure. You think? Yeah. That'd be embarrassing. That would be embarrassing. Imagine getting skunked in your own video. Nah. Uh, two guys on an S10 bed. Couldn't be me. Oh. Did someone just eat my line? I think so. What in the world? Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I heard that. It sounded like a marble fell in the water. You're gonna throw your, uh, throw up in like uh, one of those, yeah. There you go. Dude, why? How has that happened? This whole air, oh, look at all that bait running, dude. There's gotta be a fish around that bait. Oh yeah, I got one. You got one? Oh my gosh, oh. dude, reel up, reel up quick. Do you have a smaller bait? It was something small. Throw right here in the shade line. Just throw it straight quickly. You saw that? You saw yep. that? You on? Got him. Oh, there we go. We on. <laughs> We're on, baby. Dude, that was awesome. Look at that Let's thing pulling this top. <laughs> First fish in the top of a car. Ooh. Yes. He's yanking this boat around. Dude, hit it top water too. That's both my flip underneath the dock that I missed. And then this one, the first landed fish. Did it good, dude. Perfect hook set. We're in the game now. Yep, there we go. Not but a one pounder, if even, but we'll take it. That's a pretty fish. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad, guys. A lot of fun and uh, a very weird vessel to catch a fish off of. Maybe the first ever car top fish catch in the world. So that is pretty cool. See you, girl. Yeah, was, I wanted yeah. to get on the outside of this one because I'm yeah. sure there's something hanging out in there. I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to get in this water. Yeah, it almost would have been nice if something sank. I'm grateful it didn't, but... Oh, you got one? Oh, oh I do. Mason's got one! Oh, I got one. <laughs> there we go! Let's get go, Mason! Boom. Yes! Dude, dude, in the in the tree! <laughs> I was like, I thought I got snagged. He, he was a, not a crazy fighter. Not the biggest, but it counts, gets us on the board. See you later, stinky. <laughs> <laughs> your camera was filming your toes when you let him go. Oh, my bad. It's beef. okay, dude. You're going to be a profes professional one day, man. You're in, oh, you're in training. Oh, professional. There we go, dude. It's two to three now. Two fish to three fish, boys. I don't even I don't even know what the rules are, but I'm gonna change it to whatever makes us win because I'm the host of this we channel. We got two fish losers. Dude, my back is down bad. Is it? Not only from carrying this video. Carrying this truck bed. From carrying this truck bed, literally. Just go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go get oh, some baby. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! All right, well, that that makes four. Sense. So, four, buddy. Yeah. I was, I was just, just sitting there complaining about my back pains because I'm 24 with the back of a 55 year old. Where's that eight pounder? At? Hey, let's, let's go out there. See the grass? Oh, uh -huh. you want to hit it? Yeah, let's go out there. Come here. Uh oh. Yeah. Whoa, it's big. It's big. It's, it's a, big. It's Get not, it out. It's, it's big. <laughs> it's the biggest of the day. Come, Come here. here. Oh, I had one with it. Come, Come here, buddy. Let's go. In the tree. He's got black marks all over him. That's kind of a unique looking fish. That man. is, dude. Let's go. Dude, you know what that is? What? That right there? Is a dub, my friend. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize it. Five. He changed the rules like three times. I know. We beat him every first time. Six. We probably shouldn't tell him. Just wait till we get to the bank. Yeah? Okay. Well, yeah, we won't tell him. That's, oh, that's, that's, a, that's a pound and a half. Right? Yeah, dude. That's, that's, a, that's a good one. Birthmarks all yeah. over. All right. Well, we lost. <laughs> but we're going to see. Can these boats handle each other? The final test. I would we, say we, we should say something, but we don't have long. No. Oh, we're crashing right now. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Everybody's linked down below. Leave a like, subscribe on this video. We're trying to hit a million subscribers. Until the next fishing adventure, fish bump, I'm out of here. Wait, my pants are on. <laughs> One more time. Should we take our pants off? Wait, let's do pants versus no pants, like the teams. Yeah. Call pants. <laughs> well, my last name's Smallwood, right? And it's true.